In this video, we'll show you how to scrape all available photos from a particular Google Maps place. To get started, head over to the SERP API Playground and make sure you're on the Google Maps Photos API. The next step is we need to fill data ID value with place ID value from the certain place you want to scrape reviews from. If you have a list of URLs, we need to find this value manually by looking inside Google Maps URL of a certain place which is called place ID. It should look something like this. To extract place ID data, we need to use regular expression, which will extract part of the data from the whole URL, and then we'll pass it to SERP API data ID parameter. Here's how the basic regular expression would look like. If you don't have a list of URLs, you can have a look and try to use our Google Maps Local Results API, where you can access photos link hash key that will return a JSON of photos from a certain place. To extract photos from SERP API output, we need to access photos hash key which contains a list of individual photos, and then extract either individual thumbnail or original size image, or both, to paginate to the next page. We'll need to access SERP API pagination hash key, which is a next page token hash key containing next page photos data. As usual, don't forget to use export to code playground feature that generates boilerplate code for you. Now to the actual code. All we have to do is to iterate over photos list and extract needed data from an individual photo. After that, we need to paginate to the next page by checking if the next page is present. And if present, paginate to the next page, otherwise exit the while loop. And that's how you can scrape Google Maps photos from a certain place. As we mentioned in our previous Google Maps reviews video, this token is not something magical that SERP API generates on the fly. It's something that we scrape under the hood from Google and returning this value to the user. We want to point out that the current approach of pagination using Python package is a subject of change. It will be more user-friendly in the future. Have a look at Python package to see if pagination has been updated. Here's what the output would look like. If you have any questions or confusions, leave us a comment in the comments section, or reach to us at Twitter using AskSERP API hashtag.